Hi everyone, welcome back to Reop Games. In this Unity tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make a timer and countdown timer. And we're gonna add the timer to the game. Okay, let's get started. Let's take a look at the current setup. I've created a text object from Text Mesh Pro. I will rename it to Timer Text. I wanna show the elapsed time here when the game starts. Select the canvas object and create a script named Timer. Open the script. First, add the Text Mesh Pro library. I'm gonna create a variable named Timer Text. I will assign the text object I created to this variable. I created a float type variable to keep the elapsed time. Elapsed time plus equals time dot delta time. Update function is called every frame. Time dot delta time gives us the time elapsed between two frames. Convert the elapsed time to string and set it as the timer text. Save the script and go back to Unity. Drag and drop the timer text object to the slot. Start the game. We see the elapsed time on the screen like this. But I wanna see it like this. So I'm gonna change the string format of the timer text. First, I will divide the elapsed time into minutes and seconds. And then set the string format of the timer text. For detailed information about string format, you can check the link in the description. Alright, save and go back to Unity. As you can see, we display the elapsed time as we want. Let's check that the minute is working properly as well. Nice, the timer is working properly. Ok, let's make a countdown timer. Open the script, right click on the elapsed time variable and rename it to remaining time. Press the enter button. I will add the serialize field attribute to the variable to set this variable in the inspector panel. And change the plus symbol to minus symbol. Save and go back to Unity. Set the remaining time and start the game. As you can see, the countdown timer works. Set the remaining time to 10 and start the game again. Let's solve this problem. I'm gonna add two conditions. If the remaining time is greater than 0, update the remaining time. Else if the remaining time is less than 0, set the remaining time to 0. That's it. Start the game. The countdown timer is ready. You can call a function when the time is up, or you can change the color of the text. Ok, now let's add a timer to the game. If you wanna see step by step how we made this game, you can check out the channel. Right click on the canvas and create an empty object named timer. Right click on the timer and create a text object. Set the position of the timer. Align the text to the middle center. Increase the font size of the text. You can set the position of the timer as you want. I'm gonna add an icon to the timer. Right click on the timer and create an image. Set the size and position of the image. I created a timer icon earlier. Drag and drop the icon to the slot of the image. Select the timer object and then drag and drop the timer script to it. And drag and drop the text object to the slot. I'm gonna apply all changes for the canvas prefab. This way, the timer will be added to all scenes that have the canvas prefab. Open the main menu scene and start the game. Looks fine. 
When I pause the game, the timer stops. And when I resume the game, the timer continues. In this video, we learned how to make a timer and countdown timer. If you liked the video, please don't forget to hit the like button. Thanks for watching and see you in the next Unity tutorial.